is Patrick O'Grady and this is English Hanoi. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I think we've got a good lesson. We're going to be looking at pronunciation. Specifically, we're going to be looking at two different sounds, the U sound and the U sound. Okay, so uh, those, those are the two things we'll be looking at. Um, let me take a minute to introduce myself, please. Uh, my name is Patrick O'Grady, and I've been teaching English for a long time. I taught in Korea for three years. I taught in Saudi Arabia for five years. And I've been teaching here in Vietnam for the past 10 years. Uh, about 10 years ago, my wife and I, we started up this company called English Hanoi, and uh, here we are. We're trying to help Vietnamese speak better English so they can get a better job and have a great future. So, that's me. Uh, let's get started with the lesson, shall we? <clears throat> so, our first sound is... Ooh. Ooh. Can you say it? Ooh, as in room. Ooh, good. And our second sound is uh. Uh. Can you say it? Uh, as in book. All right. Um, for both these sounds, we're kind of making a little round of. Uh, our lips are going to be rounded a little bit. Uh, let's go through the sounds with some words and um, let's go through them. Um, actually, before I go on, I should make it clear. Uh, the, the problem with this pronunciation drill is that um, often we see both of these vowels spelled with O-O and the pronunciation is a little different So with, with this. So let's, let's just go through this and uh, we'll... Um, <laughs> and, and I'll show you some examples of this, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to fix your mistakes. So, ooh, room, room, ooh, room, uh, uh, book, book. Can you say it? Room, book. Tooth, tooth, okay, put, put, all right, let's keep going, food, food, foot, foot, you say it, yeah, mood, mood, Hood, hood, rude, rude, could, could, great, one more, wood, wood, all right. So, I'm going to say a couple of sentences. I'd like you to try to repeat after me. If you're feeling very clever, perhaps you could uh, write the sentence in the comment down below, and um, we'll, see, we'll see what we got. I don't have a computer with me today, so I can't check your comments, but uh, let's see if you're a good student or not. So, our first sentence. I would like to book a room for tonight. I would like to book a room for tonight. You say it. All right. I would like to book a room for tonight. Would book room. Great. So that's our first sentence. Uh, let's try sentence number two. I'm going to say a sentence. Please repeat after me. I'm in the mood for some food. I'm in the mood for some food. 
Right. Let's try it. I'm in the mood for some food. I'm in the mood for some food. And our last sentence for today. I'm going to say it. I want you to repeat after me. I really put my foot in my mouth. I really put my foot in my mouth. I really put my foot in my mouth. Do you know what that means? Sometimes when we uh, say something silly, uh, we might say, I put my foot in my mouth. I, I made a big mistake. I said something bad in front of someone else. I put my foot in my mouth. Great phrase. Um, so, that's what we learned today. Uh, once again, everyone, we learned this. The two sounds here, oo for room, and o as in book. It can be a little tricky. Um, sometimes we often see double O's here, and um, you, you would think the pronunciation is the same. However, it's not quite. Um, you can see over here as well these double O's, and uh, it's a little it's a little tricky. But I know you're pretty smart. I know you can do it. So. Thank you very much for joining me today, everyone. Uh, if you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Maybe share us out with your friends and family. If you're on YouTube, uh, give us a... What do we do on YouTube? Well, give us a comment on YouTube and uh, share it out over there as well. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, everyone, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.